Tetanoboa. The name alone conjures images of a world long forgotten, a time when nature's giants roamed the earth. A name that strikes fear and awe into the hearts of many. Imagine standing before the skeleton of this behemoth, its sheer size dwarfing everything around it. This colossal serpent, reaching lengths of up to 40 feet and weighing over a ton, reigned supreme in the humid swamps of Paleocene South America. These swamps, teeming with life, were the perfect hunting grounds for such a formidable predator. Its massive size allowed it to overpower and consume large prey, including crocodiles and giant turtles. Imagine the sheer power required to constrict and devour such formidable creatures. Titanoboa's dominance is undisputed. For decades, Titanoboa held the throne as the largest snake to have ever slithered across the earth. Its fossils, discovered in the Chirayan coal mines of Colombia, have provided invaluable insights into the prehistoric world. But what if I told you that Titanoboa, the king of snakes, might have had rivals? What if there were other serpents, equally massive, lurking in the shadows of history? What if, lurking in the shadows of prehistory, other monstrous serpents existed, creatures that could have sent even Titanoboa slithering for cover? The world of the Paleocene was vast and mysterious, and Titanoboa was just one of its many wonders. As we continue to unearth the secrets of our planet's past, who knows what other giants we might discover. The reign of the Titans may have been more complex and competitive than we ever imagined. The story of Titanoboa is a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth, reminding us of the ever-changing nature of our world. Venture back to the Eocene Epoch, some 40 million years ago, to the lush mangrove forests of what is now Egypt. Here, another giant made its home, Gigantophis garstini. While not as long as Titanoboa, Gigantophis was no small fry. Estimates suggest it reached lengths of over 30 feet, making it a true behemoth of its time. Its massive jaws, lined with sharp, backward-curving teeth, were perfectly designed for seizing and swallowing large prey. Imagine encountering this prehistoric predator while wading through the swampy waters. Our next contender takes us to the late Cretaceous period, to what is now India. This was a time when the earth was teeming with life and the land was dominated by the mighty dinosaurs. But amidst these giants, there were other creatures that played a crucial role in the ecosystem. Here, in a dinosaur nesting ground, lived a snake with a taste for the extraordinary Sanaja indicus. This snake was not just any ordinary reptile. It had evolved to thrive in a world where danger lurked at every corner. While smaller than both Titanoboa and Gigantophis reaching lengths of around 11 feet, Sanaje possessed a unique hunting strategy that might have sent shivers down even Titanoboa's spine. Unlike its larger relatives, Sanaje was agile and cunning, able to navigate the treacherous terrain of a dinosaur nesting ground with ease. Fossil evidence suggests that Sanaje specialized in hunting dinosaur hatchlings. These young dinosaurs, fresh out of their eggs, were vulnerable and easy prey for the stealthy snake. The fossils show Sanaje coiled around these hatchlings, a testament to its predatory prowess. Its flexible jaws and slender body allowed it to infiltrate nests and swallow young dinosaurs whole. This remarkable adaptation meant that Sanaje could consume prey much larger than its head, a trait that made it a formidable predator in its own right. Imagine the terror of a Titanoboa hatchling knowing that a Sanaje lurked nearby. Even the mighty Titanoboa, which would grow to become one of the largest snakes in history, started its life as a vulnerable hatchling. The presence of a Sanaje in the vicinity would have been a constant threat, a reminder that danger was never far away in the prehistoric world. The late Cretaceous period was a time of incredible biodiversity and creatures like Sanaje indicus played a vital role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. By preying on dinosaur hatchlings, Sanaje helped control the population of these giants, ensuring that the environment could sustain such a diverse array of life. The fossil record provides us with a fascinating glimpse into the life of Sanaje indicus. Each fossil tells a story of survival, adaptation, and the relentless drive to thrive in a world dominated by dinosaurs. Through these ancient remains, we can piece together the incredible tale of a snake that once roamed the prehistoric landscapes of India. As we look back at the late Cretaceous period, we are reminded of the intricate web of life that existed millions of years ago. 
Sinaje Indicus, with its unique adaptations and hunting strategies, was a key player in this ancient world, a true testament to the wonders of evolution. The Madsoya snakes, a group that thrived from the late Cretaceous to the early Pleistocene, present a more enigmatic challenge. Fossil remains are fragmented, making size estimates difficult. However, some scientists believe that certain Madsoya species could have rivaled Titanoboa in length. These powerful constrictors likely inhabited a variety of environments, from swamps to forests, and their widespread distribution suggests they were highly adaptable predators. Imagine a Matsoya hidden among the undergrowth waiting to ambush its prey. Section 5. Wanambi, Terra Down Under. Fast forward to the Pleistocene Epoch, to the arid plains of Australia. This was a time when the landscape was vastly different from what we see today. The climate was harsher and the flora and fauna were adapted to survive in these extreme conditions. Here, a different kind of giant serpent held Sue Wanambi Narakortensis. This snake was a true marvel of prehistoric evolution, perfectly adapted to its environment, while not as large as some of its prehistoric counterparts, reaching lengths of around 16 feet, it was still an impressive sight. Imagine encountering such a creature in the wild, its massive body slithering through the underbrush. Wanambi was a formidable predator in its own right. Its hunting techniques were both fascinating and terrifying. It relied on stealth and power to capture its prey. Its powerful body and sharp teeth allowed it to overpower and consume large prey. These physical attributes made it a dominant force in its ecosystem, including the giant marsupials that roamed Australia during this time. These marsupials were no small creatures themselves, making the Wanambi's hunting prowess even more impressive. Imagine the thunderous clash as a Wanambi grappled with its prey. The struggle would have been intense, a true battle for survival. Its powerful muscles coiling around its victim, squeezing tighter with each passing moment. The sheer strength of Wanambi was enough to subdue even the most formidable of adversaries. This ancient predator was a true testament to the raw power and adaptability of nature. Section 6. Size isn't everything, venom and constrictors. While size certainly played a role in the fear factor of these prehistoric snakes, it wasn't the only weapon in their arsenal. Some snakes, like Titanoboa and Gigantophis, were constrictors, using their powerful bodies to suffocate their prey. Others, like the Matsoya, might have employed venom to subdue their victims. The presence of venom in these ancient serpents is still debated, but the possibility adds another layer of danger to their already fearsome reputation. Section 7. The Fossil Trail Clues to the Past Our understanding of these prehistoric snakes comes from the painstaking work of paleontologists who pieced together the story of their lives from fossilized bones and teeth. Each discovery, from a single vertebra to a complete skeleton, provides valuable insights into their size, anatomy and behaviour. The fossil record, though incomplete, paints a vivid picture of a time when giant snakes ruled the earth, striking fear into the hearts of their prey. Section 8, a world of giants understanding prehistoric ecosystems. The existence of these giant snakes tells us much about the prehistoric ecosystems they inhabited. Their enormous size suggests an abundance of prey, while their presence in diverse environments highlights their adaptability. These serpents were not simply monsters, they were integral parts of their respective ecosystems. Their reign, however, eventually came to an end, likely due to a combination of climate change, competition and other environmental factors. Section 9, Fear Factor, a matter of perspective. The question of whether these prehistoric snakes could have truly scared Tatanoboa is, of course, speculative. Fear is a complex emotion and it's impossible to know for certain how an extinct animal would react to another. However, the sheer size, power and unique hunting strategies of these serpents suggest that they were forces to be reckoned with. Perhaps even Titanoboa, the king of snakes, would have thought twice before tangling with these formidable predators. Section 10. The mysteries remain. The world of prehistoric snakes is full of wonder and mystery. While we continue to learn more about these fascinating creatures through fossil discoveries and scientific analysis, much remains unknown. What other giant serpents await discovery in the annals of prehistory? 
What other secrets do these ancient fossils hold? The answers, like the snakes themselves, remain elusive, waiting to be unearthed from the depths of time.